Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. For those of you guys that are new, welcome. My name is Pinky and teaching witchcraft and tarot is what I do. For those of you guys returning, welcome back my loves. Let's get into the love reading for all zodiac signs. We're going to begin here with Leo as we are about to kick off Leo season. For those of you guys experiencing a return of the sun, brightest the blessings for all of you. Let's get into it. Let's see what you guys can expect for the remainder of July 2024 in regards to love and romance. We're going to pull out three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. Let's see what is going on with Leo. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for new love. Give me three cards for old flame. Here we go. I call upon all my wise and loving spirit guides. Ascendant Master, Spirits of Divination, please step forward. Guide us. Allow us to see here since you and receive the messages loud and clearly for Leo. Give me three cards to represent their new love and three cards to represent their old flame. Okay, I'm going to put them back. I'm not feeling it. Let's see. Here we go. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you guys can get notified of the most recent videos going up. For those of you guys that are interested in any personalized spell work or any type of personal readings or any of the services that we provide, you can find all of that on the description box below. Let's get into it. All right, Leo. We're starting off here with the Nine of Pentacles, the Eight of Swords. And their future actions, four of swords. Okay, Leo, you could have been dealing with someone that didn't necessarily know exactly what it is that they want. As I'm seeing them, in regards to how they see you, they definitely see you as a person that is, you know, someone that knows exactly what it is that they want. And this made them a bit nervous, maybe even intimidated. In regards to how they feel about you, they're unsure. There is a feeling of uncertainty here, a lot of anxiousness or stress that they may be going through. However, I don't see any type of further communication or any momentum picking up. For some of you guys, you could have been dealing with someone that is still stuck in the past. They're dealing with someone that maybe they haven't fully recovered from or maybe haven't fully moved on from. They're definitely still holding on to some type of hope, uh, some type of, you know, wishing that they would reach out, meaning the ex-partner, the person they were dealing with in the past. And that's the reason why they could have pulled away from you or there may be a no contact at the current situation or in the current position. However, I don't see them making any type of effort going towards you. So my advice in this situation is uh, keep it pushing, Leo. Don't sit there and wait for nobody. All right, in regards to the old flame, we have the four of wands, we have the queen of pentacles, and we have the justice card. So I feel like this person is, uh, what they're showing me here for a lot of you guys, you could have been dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. For others of you, you could have been dealing with a Libra or another fire sign like yourself, Sagittarius, Aries, or um, Leo. What they're showing me here in regards to how they feel about you, the Four of Wands does uh, indicate the, the wanting to return to the past or wanting to um, make their way back into your life. Uh, with the Queen of Pentacles here, I feel like they're being more practical. Um, I'm going to be honest with the Justice card. I feel like they're waiting to see that you haven't either moved on or that you are at a weak place in your life so that they can reach out. Um, and the reason I say this is Queen of Pentacles is very methodical. It's about being practical. Obviously, if they see you posting on social media, if they see you like living your best life, they are fearing rejection. They are feeling that as the justice, you will make the decision of not wanting to deal with them, not listening to your heart, but listening to your mind. So there is a bit of hesitation there. Uh, in regards to them reaching out again, I feel like they're waiting for the other shoe to drop in order to make that move. Um, yes, it's a weak <laughs> way of seeing things. It's kind of like, you know, I want to see that Leo is not doing that great. So then I can weasel my way back into their lives. Um, however, I don't see anything or any type of communication anytime soon for you guys. Um, so again, the best advice I can possibly give you here is like I tell my clients when you, you know, when you've, um, moved on. You know, think of the metaphor of when you're chewing a gum and you spit it out. Don't pick it back up. All right, moving on. Let's see what's going on here with Virgo. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with Virgo. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. 
going back to Leo momentarily, very quick. Uh, Leo, there. I'm getting this message of whatever it is, whatever you feel that is crashing and burning right now, let that shit burn. And the reason I say that is because there is a new wave of energy that's coming towards you. And this usually indicates sudden change, um, unexpected connections or unexpected people coming into your life. And I fully want you to embrace that uh, because it's guiding you more towards your path. Okay. So just keep that in mind. All right. Moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Virgo. Virgo. Three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. Virgo, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with Virgos. Virgo, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Here we go, Virgo. If you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you guys can get notified of the most recent videos going up. All right, Virgo. We're starting off here with the eight of wands, the five of pentacles, and the death card. Wow. So for some of you Virgos, uh, this is the new love. I feel like for some of you guys, you could have recently made contact or currently are in communication with someone new, and it could have possibly came about after an ending or after someone that you were dealing with in the past could have pulled away. So there is right at the center, five of pentacles is the feeling of no, no reciprocation, right? It's the feeling of being treated unfairly or unjustly. Um, being left out in the cold and wondering or trying to figure out exactly what happened. I see you guys very much in your head, though they are showing me again, this is the new love reading. So with the eight of wands and the death card here, it is very crucial and very important for a lot of you, Virgo, especially those of you guys that are, you know, currently dealing with other people with the eight of wands and the death card. It does speak about major transformations that are happening in your life right now. For some of you guys, it's going to feel almost like you could have been dealing with one specific person and then all of a sudden people are reaching out, people are trying to get your attention and it's kind of like coming out of nowhere and the reason for this is because it's the universe trying to propel you towards the people that are your tribe, towards the people that are on the same frequency or in the same vibration as you and it is in fact pushing people that you've either outgrown or that are not good for you. For a lot of you guys, you could be dealing with someone specifically that is really like emotionally unavailable. This is a person that has difficulty opening up. They are not open uh, to emotionally connect with anyone. And I feel like there's a drag and pull type of energy where they're hot and cold. So what Spirit is telling you is that take this as the sign that you're looking for to move on and to embrace. Now, if you're currently holding on for someone and all of a sudden you've been dealing or talking or someone's been trying to get your attention, do not put yourself on the sideline waiting on that person. It's kind of the, the, the metaphor of, you know, we keep asking to be saved because we're drowning and then the universe sends us a boat <laughs> and you're like, no, you know, I'm waiting for the universe to do a miracle. Well, that was your miracle. Do you get what I'm saying? So again, don't shut yourself out or put yourself in the sidelines waiting on someone when the universe is clearly pushing you towards the people that are for you. Okay. All right, Virgo. Moving on here. Let's see what's going on with your old flame. Six of pentacles, three of swords and the queen of pentacles. Your energy very strongly. So in regards to how they feel about you, I feel like they're wanting to come back into your life. There is a internalizing of what happened in this connection, what they could have done better or where they messed up. For some of you guys, you could have dealt with like a third party situation. I do see them trying to remedy the situation or trying to, you know, fix it in some shape, way or form. Um, in regards to them taking action, I feel they will be taking action towards you, Virgo, but probably till the beginning of August. I don't see it happening in the next two weeks. Um, but there is reflection that's going on and they're looking towards basically the destruction or what brought the ending to this connection. And they are wanting to come in and give you some type of offering. So don't be surprised if you do hear from them, probably in the beginning or middle of August. All right, my loves, moving on here. 
let's see what's going on with Libra. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. New love. Give me three cards for new love. Three cards for old flame. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with Libras. Libra. All right, here we go. Libra, you have the death card here. Could be dealing with the Scorpio. Could be dealing with the Pisces. All right, so what they're showing me, Libra, for a lot of you guys, there is, there's been a lot of confusion in regards to this connection. For some of you guys, you are in fact dealing with someone that is emotionally not that intelligent, meaning they don't know how to process their emotions. But there is almost this, and I really want you guys to be careful with this. If you're dealing with someone that is a bit secretive or perhaps not as open and really has you in this energy of like wanting to figure out or wanting to like get to know them better because you feel like deep down inside they're more to whatever they're showing. Um, be careful with that because I feel like that's why you're holding on to this connection. However, I do feel like this person does in fact... Um, maintain almost this there's this aura about them um where there are certain things or certain aspects to their life that they do show but then there's other parts to them that they don't this is giving me very much the vibe of a person that may be living a double life for some of you guys you could be dealing with someone that is portraying themselves to be single and in fact they're not um so i really want you guys to be careful if you feel like they're giving you red flags run Libra because this person is just not they're not being transparent whatsoever especially if you are dealing with the Scorpio energy now for others of you um there could have potentially they could have potentially seen you as someone that they were willing to kind of pursue but again with the moon card in how they feel about you they're not honest okay there's dishonesty connected to this to this connection or to this relationship and again, with the Page of Pentacles, I feel like they are very emotionally immature. So the advice is if they have you, you know, wondering, there's more to them. There really isn't, you know. You're, you're basically getting what you're seeing. Are you going to sit there and wait it out? Are you going to sit there and wait for this person to really let you down? Um, or are you, I ask you and invite you to internalize and ask yourself, are you putting this person on a pedestal? Are you not seeing certain aspects to them because there is a desire of wanting to have them open up? And this person could have potentially even told you that they have difficulty opening up. And I feel like that's their scapegoat. Don't sit there and wait for them to like really show you who they are because I feel like they are already showing you and there could be some type of disappointments here. So just be careful with that, Libra. All right, moving on to your past flame. We have the Page of Cups, the Eight of Cups, and the Queen of Swords. So what I'm seeing here is, yes, this person still has feelings for you, Libra. However, they've realized that the best thing that could have happened was for both of you guys to walk away or for both of you guys to go your own separate ways. Uh, with the Queen of Swords, they do constantly think of you and they do constantly have you on their mind. However, I don't feel like they will be reaching out anytime soon. Uh, this person is really... I feel like they're counting... I don't want to say necessarily counting their blessings, but it's almost like they understood or currently going through some type of internalizing where they're realizing um, what the lessons were in this connection and in this relationship. And once you get to a place like that, you're, you know that you're getting ready to move on because it's, it's a healing process. So again, I feel like this person could have potentially um, jeopardized your connection Maybe they were thinking that the grass was greener on the other side, and then they quickly realized that it wasn't. Um, again, I don't see any type of communication. However, I do see them thinking of you and missing you, Libra. All right, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Scorpio. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. For the remainder of July 2024, Scorpio. Oh, we got cards flying. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to put it back in the back. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Give me one 
second. This card flew all the way over here, you guys. <laughs> all right. Here we go. Let's see what's going on with Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right. Here we go, Scorpio. Let's see what's going on with my Scorpios. All right, Scorpio. We have the Nine of Wands. We have the Emperor and the empress card okay this person that you're currently dealing with scorpio is seeing you a bit guarded um you could have potentially blocked them at some point in time i feel like they are thinking that you are a bit impulsive however they do want to create a deepening of this connection or they are wanting to build something from this connection and their future actions towards you with the Empress card, they will be definitely coming towards you. They will be trying to put more effort, especially because we have the Emperor and the Empress here, you guys. Okay, so what this is indicating to me for some of you guys, it could be that potentially both of you guys are coming from a situation where you guys have been hurt or you guys have been let down in the past and you guys may be a bit guarded. And the moment that this person feels like you are sh short or dry, like in your text with them, etc., it's almost a feeling of, okay, I'm going to pull back and give Scorpio their pay, their place or their space. And you're over here thinking, well, they're not, if they would, they if they wanted to, they would, right? But they're trying to give you that space that they assume you're wanting because they just don't want to come off too strong. So I feel both of you guys have issues in regards to communication or your way of communicating. Uh, however, I do feel like as we progress this connection, I feel like you guys are going to be able to clear the air, uh, especially again, because the emperor and empress is here. So it's like you may be dealing um, potentially with someone that is at the same caliber as you, is wanting and desiring the same things you are, but your way of communication just, you guys can't seem to get it together. But I do see it progressing and getting better as the month or as the days go by. Oh, damn it. Okay, give me one second. I accidentally, okay, here we go. All right, in regards to old love, we have the queen of cups here, which is your energy and king of cups. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, for a lot of you guys, especially the one that I did new love on, uh, with the empress and the with the empress and the emperor and now we have the queen of cups and king of cups for some of you guys you guys are dealing in fact with a soulmate connection um even you know for those of you guys that are dealing with a new person i feel like when it comes to when it comes to your ex or the person from your past I feel like you guys could have had the same issues of what they just spoke about for those of you guys that are dealing with new people. It's almost like you guys didn't know how to communicate in the same love language and that's what created either barriers or that's what created the distancing between this connection. With the three of pentacles here at the center, I do see that the person from your past will be reaching out or will be coming towards you trying to work through uh, this situation or trying to see if you guys can b get back to giving each other another opportunity. If this person that you dealt with in the past was a bit immature or you felt like they were just playing mind games, the reason for this could have potentially been because this person didn't know um, how to fully express their feelings. They, they seen opening up or vulnerability as, as something of weakness. But I feel this person is realizing what you meant to them or what you brought to their life. Um, and this is a person that is just realizing it's almost like the moment I lost Scorpio is the moment I realized that I actually do love this person, that I actually do love Scorpio, that I do actually want them in my life. So I feel like you will be hearing from them. They will be coming back around trying to fix things. So the ball will be in your court, Scorpio. All right, my loves, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with 
Sagittarius, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, three cards for new love, three cards for old flame, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, here we go, Saggies, let's see what's going on, all right, your first card here is the Page of Cups, the High Priestess, and the Knight of Swords, okay, so this person is definitely very interested in you, though they may not initially reveal their feelings for you, or perhaps they're a bit difficult to read for some of you. Um, the reason for this is because this person is a bit, they like to feel their way into connections. And what I mean by that is they are usually the type to take their time in getting to know someone. This is a person that does not want to rush for some of you Sagittarians, this could be a bit frustrating, <laughs> not being able to read the person or feeling like, I don't know what it is that they want, you know? Um, however, I do see that as time progresses, they will be more vocal about their interest for you. And I do see communication back and forth between you guys. So the advice here is be patient because this is a person that um, is going to be or has the potential to be very consistent if you actually give yourself, you know, the time in getting to know someone and don't make them feel like you're kind of forcing them to move it along or to like if you're if you've been dealing with them as an example for three months and you casually drop, you know, um, I'm not looking for, you know, anything that has to do with wasting my time. I'm looking for someone that knows what they want. If you constantly do this, Sagittarius, you're kind of like giving them red flags because they know what it is that they want. If you feel like they don't, they do. They're just trying to get to know you on a deeper level. So again, be patient with that if you are, in fact, really interested in this panning out. Moving on here, let's see, in regards to Old Flame, we have the Seven of Cups, the Hermit, and the Two of Pentacles. So this person is has either moved on or currently dealing with multiple people. Um, in regards to why they feel this way with the hermit card it's giving me the understanding that for some of you guys you could have blocked this person for others of you you just cut communication altogether this person feels like they're just wasting their time so they've moved on uh they, there's really i see them specifically dealing with two people so uh if you were hoping to hear from them or if you were hoping that something would come of this old flame uh, what they're telling you is it's time to move on because this person is already entertaining other people. All right, my loves, moving on here. Let's see what's going on. Oh, let's see what's going on with Capricorn. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in regards to love. Give me three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. Oh, I see the Six of Cups for some of you Capricorns. The past is returning. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Here we go. One more shuffle. All right. Let's get to the needy greedy. Happies. Let's see what's going on. All right. In regards to new love, we have the world card. We have the wow. Wow. The six of cups, you guys. That was initially the card I seen. Okay. So Capricorn, um, I know you guys are one of the signs that has the most difficulty, right? When it comes to relationships, um, Saturn ruled and all. Um, what I'm seeing here is for a lot of you guys, those of you guys that are currently dealing with someone new, know and understand that this is divinely orchestrated, okay? This is the universe bringing to you the person that is meant for you, the person that is going to meet all of your expectations, needs, and wants. And this is a person that also has, in fact, asked or petitioned the universe for someone like you. Now, what I'm hearing for a lot of you guys, you haven't even met this person yet. So those of you guys that are single out there, pay attention to the people that are coming into your life right now. The reason I say that is because people are going to be very drawn to you. And those that are new coming into your life, trying to get your attention, trying to get to know you, trying to get closer to you. The reason for this is because there is an alignment that's happening within you, Capricorn. There is this massive energy 
of the universe collaborating and bringing to you synchronicities and people that are meant for you, people that are of your soul tribe. This is not just with relationships. This could be friendships. This could be, you know, re reconnecting for some of you guys with old friends from the past um, that you could have potentially just gone your own separate ways and all of a sudden they're coming back around. They're telling me it's divinely orchestrated at this point in time. Um, what I am seeing is if you are in fact already dealing with this person, I feel like it's going to be a bond that you've never experienced Capricorn. It's a bond where it's going to feel like home. It's going to feel like you guys have known each other for a very, very long time. And again, the reason for this is because you have in fact met this person in past lives. So pay attention to people that are coming into your life, people that are just not aligning or that are giving you like major red flags those are the people that you need to steer from and walk away from right now fully embrace this energy because it is massive potential massive um shifting in your alignment and in your self-awareness as well capricorn beautiful energy all right in regards to past love we have the judgment card here we have the ten of cups and we have the sun card wow so someone recently capricorn and that could be why we've seen the six of cups come out uh when shuffling and then when pulling out the new uh connection with the judgment card there is someone that recently made a judgment about you so this could have been obviously a person from your past a person that you were dealing with this could be an ex-lover this could be someone that you were in fact dealing with and all of a sudden you guys kind of you know went your own separate ways this person I feel like they had difficulty expressing their emotions, but just recently they came to the understanding that they're going to do whatever it takes to fight for you or to get you back. With the 10 of cups here in regards to why they feel this way, because they never felt love or they never felt a connection the way they did with you Capricorn. And with the sun card here, I see them rushing towards you, wanting to. It's almost like they're scared of losing you or they're scared that time is wasting or they're scared that someone else is going to have the opportunity of like sweeping you off their feet. It's a realization and the realization is real because it's coming in hot. Um, for some of you guys, you could have been dealing with the person that was just not it made it clear for some of you guys that they weren't looking for anything serious or anything of a higher commitment um that could have been the reason why you guys had a falling out however this person is realizing you know what it it's worth it like it's worth me finding out how far we can go like this is a person that i want in my life and i am not going to jeopardize that and i'm not going to give someone else the opportunity of coming in and sweeping capricorn away from me so there is a definite if you're looking for reconciliation there is definite reconciliation there if you just had a falling out and you haven't heard from this person they're coming in so be ready capricorn all right moving on here let's see what's going on with aquarius sun moon rising venus three cards for new love three cards for old flame aquarius sun moon rising venus aquarius sun moon rising venus aquarius sun moon rising venus let's see what's going on with them if you guys like these videos like share comment don't forget to subscribe to our channel. All right, Aquarius, we have the Ace of Cups, the Page of Pentacles, and the King of Pentacles. Wow, okay. So, Aquarians, for some of you guys, you could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. For others of you, it could be a Water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. In regards to how they see you, they definitely feel that there is a connection. They feel like you guys are aligned, like you guys are wanting or see things from a very uh, common perspective. Uh, this is a person that's definitely looking for something long term, for sure. With the Page of Pentacles here and how they feel about you, it's progressively growing their intentions and feelings for you. I feel like there's massive admiration here, Aquarius. So, um Keep in mind, this could be vice versa. It is a general reading, but I feel very strongly like uh, this person is very much interested in you and is wanting to pursue this. Now, I'm getting another message with the Page of Pentacles here. If this is you, Aquarius, holding back some feelings uh, that you may have for someone that could potentially be an Earth energy, 
and you feel like you can't fully open up or you can't express that because you just don't know if they see you the same way especially with the wolf you're standing out to me it's speaking to me about for some of you guys it could be like a friendship it could be someone that is in your friend group it could be someone that is within your social network that you know really has your admiration um and there's hesitation there because you know maybe you don't want to jeopardize the friendship or the social group or whatever it is just know that it the feeling is mutual it's reciprocated and the reason why they're holding back is for the same reason why you're holding back however i do see progress and movement maybe not as quickly as you would want but i do see momentum start to pick up all right in regards to past love or old flame we have here the moon card the two of swords and the emperor card so in regards to what they feel about you with the moon they're very unsure um they're still confused about the feelings that they have for you for some of you guys you could have been dealing with someone that was multi or dealing with multiple people however with the emperor card here in their future actions i feel like they will be taking action towards you or trying to reach out or trying to communicate but not necessarily a positive thing because if a person doesn't know what what it is that they want or if they don't know how they feel about you the question here is why are they reaching out why are you reaching out when you're still unsure why are you reaching out when you're still at the same place or point where the reason why we have to fall in out do you get what i'm saying like if you don't know that you want me why reach out well it's quite simple this person doesn't want you to move on but they're also not willing to give you what you're asking for so move on from that aquarius all right moving on here Let's see what's going on with Pisces. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Three cards for new love. Three cards for old flame. Oh, okay. I'm going to put them back in. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with Pisces. Give me three cards for new love. Three cards for old flame. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right. Here we go, Pisces. Let's see what's going on with you guys. All right, in regards to new love, we have the Four of Cups, we have the Queen of Wands, and the King of Cups. Okay. For some of you guys, you could be dealing with a fire energy, uh, Sagittarius, uh, Leo, or Aries. For others of you, water sign, like yourself, could be a Pisces, a Scorpio, Cancer. Doesn't have to be their sun sign, could be their rising or moon. What I'm seeing here in regards to how they see you, you could have felt a bit rejected recently, Pisces, or you could feel like this person is not as interested as you were or as you are. Um, and the reason why with the uh, how they feel about you with the Queen of Wands, I feel like you could have potentially been dealing with someone that was more into your physical or more into the looks, not necessarily heavy on the feelings. So this is a person that could have potentially just been looking for something casual or for like fuck with buddy type of thing uh, or a one night stand type of thing or just something purely based on physical. Uh, I feel like the moment they started to deal with you, they realized that there is more depthness to you. They realized that they that you are more emotionally intelligent than them and they're just not going to waste your time. So if there was a falling out or there's no communication, take it as a blessing, uh, Pisces, because I feel like this person did you a solid by either walking out of your life because they know that you deserve better or two, because they realized that they weren't going to get the nookie <laughs> um, and they're just not going to waste time. OK, so again, I feel like they, they did you a solid either they or the universe did you a solid here, uh, Pisces. All right, in regards to old love, you have the Three of Cups, you have the Four of Swords, and you have the High Priestess. What is it that you're ignoring, Pisces? What is it that you're not paying attention to? For some of you guys, you could be dealing with a third-party situation. Uh, for others of you, you could be dealing with someone that just loves to get attention from other people. Um, there is an, I feel for a lot of you guys, there is this, your intuition is going off and you guys keep ignoring those red flags or keep ignoring the fact that this has been done and over with, and you're just holding on to it for dear life. With the Four of Swords here and the High Priestess, you know what you need to do. And it is time to take it or bring it back to yourself, Pisces, and make yourself a priority. It's time to heal 
so that you can be a better partner for the next person coming into your life and so that you can be able to attract a person that is going to be to the same frequency and vibration as you. As you can see, the heart there next to the thread, reciprocation, balance, harmony. So again, I feel like in regards to this person from your past, it's been done and over with. Listen to your intuition. Um, I don't see communication happening. However, they are showing me sometime around the middle of August. They may try to reach out. Take it as the universe telling you you've outgrown the situation, Pisces. Don't even waste your time. All right, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Aries. Aries, Sun, Moon, Raising, Venus. Aries, Sun, Moon, Raising, Venus. Give me three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. Aries, Sun, Moon, Raising, Venus. Three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. You guys don't forget to hit that like button and hit the notification bell so you guys can get notified of the most recent videos going up. If you guys are interested in any personal readings or personal spell work, you can find all that on the description box below, as well as the journals and manifestation books. All right, here we go, Aries. Let's see what's going on with you. In new love and with the old flame. Oh, we got cards flying out, you guys. Okay, we have the emperor here. We have the ace of cups and the lover's card. Wow, powerful energy here. Aries, for some of you guys, I feel like you may have been dealing with multiple people, but not necessarily sure um how you feel about them probably trying to get to know them better there's a realization that's happening for a lot of you guys okay so they're showing me almost a shift in your awareness and that usually indicates like an aha moment or realizing you know what why am i wasting my time why am i entertaining other people why this why that when this is the person that's for me and it's almost like right at the center right in front of me ace of cups so for some of you guys it's realizing that the love you've ever wanted or you always hoped for is right in front of you and you just haven't seen it but that awareness is coming to you aries for some of you guys it may come as a surprise for some of you guys it could be someone that you're already dealing with it could be someone that is in your energy so this could be a friend this could be for some of you guys it could have been something that started casual um but it's a realization that there are more feelings there than you pushed down and pretended like there wasn't um for others of you if you're not currently dealing with anyone i do see a new person coming into your life and it's almost like you're going to feel very accepted you're going to feel what i'm hearing is People from your past have used certain traits about you against you, meaning they've made you feel less than because you are, um, let's just say, because you are daring, because you are bold, because you are, and they've made it to seem like you should be ashamed of that. And this person that's coming in is a person that's going to fully embrace you or fully accept every single aspect of you. So you're going to feel very safe safe is what i'm hearing so for a lot of you guys again uh and i'm seeing this energy kind of like come from different directions for some of you guys it's realizing that you had feelings all along for others of you it's realizing that um this person was right in front of you this whole time um and it can come in in a very unexpected way again what's coming to mind is a scenario of you know you are just venting to someone and they tell you the exact words that you always wanted to hear and they make you feel some type of way. For others of you, it is the absence of someone or the absence of their presence that has made you realize there's feelings there. Now, keep in mind, this could be uh, vice versa. It's a general reading. So this could be the, the person that you're dealing with or that we're dealing with that is recently having, having this awakening. Um, so don't be surprised if you do hear from them and they fully disclose how they're feeling about you, Aries. Now, in regards to the person from the past, we have the moon, the devil, and the eight of wands. Wow. So I do see the ex or the person from your past coming back around. Do not be surprised if there is a drunk text or a late night text. And the reason for this is not because they're trying to bring anything to you other than physical connection. 
there is a desire and there's also this toxic energy surrounding this connection where there's a lot of confusion. There is a lot of manipulation or mind games. So if this is something that you've done in the past where you have a tendency of going to the past um, or you've convinced yourself that it's okay because, you know, you want to have fun too, but in reality you're holding on to feelings, then, you know, it's, it's kind of the... It's the representation of being delusional, right? Doing the same mistake over and over and expecting to have a different outcome. So if this person does reach out to you and at this point you're over it and you want something more serious, then, you know, don't embrace this because I feel like even if they promise you, like, I've been thinking of you, Aries, I've been missing you, it's, they're just trying to get it on. That's what it is. So be mindful of that. All right, Aries, moving on. Let's see what's going on with Taurus. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Three cards for new love. Three cards for old flame. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay, one more shuffle. All right. Taurus, let's see what's going on with you guys. All right. In regards to new love, we have the Strength card. We have the Chariot. And we have the Three of Swords. Whoa, what happened? All right. For some of you guys, you could have been dealing with someone that, you know, the connection started hot and heavy, um, could have started as something physical, or perhaps you jumped the gun and got physical very quickly, and there is no communication anymore. Or for some of you guys, they could have ghosted you. The reason for this is this person is not in any shape, way, or form uh, ready for any type of commitment. This is a person that is only seeking to, and what I'm hearing is to, this is a person that is only looking to achieve, okay? So this is a person that enjoys the thrill, that enjoys the chase. This is someone that once, you know, they get what they want, they disappear. So if you're holding on, expecting that this person is going to give you some type of closure or that is going to give you some type of explanation, they're not. So keep it pushing, Taurus. This is an energy that you definitely do not want to deal with. Now, for others of you, if you're recently dealing with someone that continuously keeps talking to you about their ex, you need to run the fuck away from them, okay? This is a person that uses manipulation tactics so that you can feel sorry for them, so that you can get close to them, they can get what they want, and they can bone out. This is a person that is very much like they run off of their root chakra this is a person that is not for the long term, is not looking for anything serious, but they do have a tendency of playing the victim mentality only because that's how they get vulnerable people. So be smart about that, Taurus, and be careful. All right. In regards to the person from your past, we have the Six of Wands, we have the Star card, and the Five of Cups. This person is definitely in their feelings, Taurus. This is a person that's realized you were the best thing that ever happened to them and they fucked up. Will you be hearing from them? Yes, and do not be surprised if you hear from them in the next coming days. Uh, this is a person that's really been in their, like, feeling sorry for themselves and being regretful about how they treated you or how they mistreated you. They're realizing that you came at a very pivotal moment in their life and they couldn't see that then but they're seeing that now so don't be surprised like i said if you do hear from them and you may hear from them in the next coming days all right moving on here let's see what's going on with gemini gemini sun moon rising venus three cards for new love three cards for old flame gemini sun moon rising venus let's see what's going on with gemini sun moon rising venus one more shuffle all right, here we go, Gemini. Let's see what's going on with you guys. All right, Gemini, we have the Knight of Swords, we have the Queen of Wands, and we have the World card. All right, so this person is definitely coming in hot. They are very much, Gemini, attracted to you physically. Um... It's almost like both of you guys are really desiring each other. There's a lot of passion and a lot of lust in this connection. However, I do feel that their future actions with the world is they're going to actively want to pursue this. 
for it to become something more serious or to put a title in it. Um, there is almost this, for some of you guys, it, it, it almost feels like very playful energy. So it could have been something that started off as either casual for others of you. It's just the person that you really, like you could really be yourself around and vice versa. They're feeling the same way. Um, for some of you guys, you could have thought that maybe this is not really going to go nowhere, but it's fun. So fuck it. I'm just going with the flow. Um, but it actually does turn into something much more serious or you guys actually put a title in it. So um, don't be surprised if what was fun turns into something more serious. And that is definitely not a bad thing. All right. Let's look at to your past. The judgment card here, the Ten of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles. So there is a, there is definitely a feeling of wanting to get you back, Gemini, but I feel like for a lot of you guys, the reason for this is because they could have potentially gone into another relationship and now they're being mistreated or they're being treated the way they treated you. So this person is thinking of you, you know, missing you. But the reason why is because they're missing they're missing your presence. They're missing how you treated them or how you made them feel. So don't be surprised if you hear from them. Just be mindful and understand that the reason why they're reaching out is because right now, if they are in a relationship, which some of you guys are dealing with someone that, you know, you're aware that this person is dealing with someone else. The reason why is because things are not going great. So they want validation. Okay, they, they want validation for them for themselves, for their ego to feel like, yeah, you know, Gemini would take me back or Gemini still wants me type of energy. So be mindful of that. If communication does happen, just keep in mind, keep it transparent and to the point, you know, if this like if you're being in a, a whole other relationship, like why are you texting me? You know, why do you need validation for me? Why are you, you know, trying to reconnect for what what's the purpose um type of thing be honest with them and transparent and also put them in their fucking place if they must you know because this is a person that the only reason why they're doing that is because they feel lonely and they need their ego stroked all right moving on here let's see what's going on with cancer cancer sun moon rising venus three cards for new love three cards for old flame cancer sun moon rising venus Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with Cancers. Three cards for new love. Three cards for old flame. One more shuffle. Here we go. All right, Cancer. Let's see what's going on. All right. Let's see what's going on with Cancers. We have the Knight of Wands. We have the Eight of Cups and the Queen of Swords. Wow. So what happened, Cancer? For some of you guys, there's a situation where somebody walked away or they're currently not communicating. It could have felt like it could have felt like it was exciting in the beginning. Um, for some of you guys, I'm hearing like texting or you guys have noticed that the texting has changed or that it's slowed down or maybe they're not texting the way they would before. And you're right for thinking that way, Cancer, because they are pulling away. They are purposely pulling away. And the reason why they're pulling away is because at this point in time, for some of you guys, you could be dealing with a person that has almost this, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, they have this defense mechanism where they, whenever they notice some type of change, instead of working through it, which is one of their lessons, they have a tendency of running away or they run away from conflict or they run away from like talking it through. So recently something could have happened where you guys could have had some type of discussion or some type of misunderstanding. This person is not the type to want to clear it out. This is the type of person, like I said, that the moment they feel like there's a conflict coming up, they're very avoidant, okay? So avoidance is what I'm hearing. So if you're dealing with this and this is in the beginning process of getting to know someone, run for the hills. Because this is definitely, like, if you're running away from something that you did that upset me and I'm telling you and you're running away from that, like, what can I possibly expect after we've built something together and life gets hard? You know what I mean? So 
they did you a solid walk away if that's what you're dealing with uh cancer because it's just a waste of time to be completely honest with you all right in regards to old flame we have the seven of cups we have the ten of swords and the two of swords they are aware that this has come to an end i see them dealing with multiple people there is not a desire or a want to reconnect i don't see any communication happening cancer so the best advice I can give you is fully embrace this ending or this ending cycle. Just always know that whenever we are going through an end, it usually more than likely represents that there is a new beginning right around the corner. The moment we're willing to embrace the end is as quickly as we're able to receive the blessings of new beginnings. Okay. All right, my loves. I hope you guys enjoyed these readings. Like, share, and comment. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You guys stay tuned for more spell videos and more tarot readings coming your way. I will see you guys soon. Till then, bye.